authority meteorologist Nikki D Ray. It's 450. We've got clear skies. High pressure is in place that also comes with very light winds and some cold temperatures. This morning we're waking up in the teens and 20s. And as you guys know, the coldest time of the day is right ahead of sunrise. So I do look for some of these temperatures to drop a few more degrees before we hit that rebound. 19 right now in Short Pomp. You've got 24 in Midlothian as well as heading into Winter Park. 25 right now in Mechanicsville. Ashland, you're at 23. If you're over into Powhatan on the west side, you guys are coming Coming in at 18 to start off the morning, 28 in South Hill, 29 in Tappahannock. Orange, you're at 21. You also have a two hour school delay. The good news is winds are calm, so we are getting face value for these temperatures, but cold air is really going to stay in place all day long. So despite plenty of sunshine, temperatures are only going to warm around 45 degrees for our afternoon high. And as soon as that sun sets, we will see a few clouds moving in, but not enough to hold in that little heat. So temperatures will quickly head back into the 30s as we head into the evening hours. But a lot of sunshine today, which is the good news that's going to help out with that vitamin D. But as we head overnight, some lighter clouds are going to begin to move in again. That's not going to be enough to hold in today's heat. So tomorrow morning we're back around freezing as we go throughout our Friday winds will shift out of our south. That's going to draw in some moisture, not so much in the way of rainfall, but you'll definitely notice it in the way of cloud cover, and it's also going to aid in the way of heat as temperatures will continue to climb Saturday. Very similar start. We're going to have a milder temperature to kick off our day by the afternoon and a lot of cloud cover and winds are going to be ushered in. Here's our next system just off to our west. It's going to slowly push into our direction, arriving late Saturday. Now ahead of it, we are looking to see some severe weather. So if you are planning on traveling, you're going to be in the Twin States, maybe around the Tennessee Valley. They do have a very large chance for severe storms. As far as we're concerned, I do look to see a few thunderstorms Saturday night. But what you're really going to notice are these incredibly high winds. Winds will be sustained 15 to 25 miles per hour, gusting into the 30s as we go throughout our Saturday night continuing into Sunday. I wouldn't be surprised if we did have a few gusts as we peak Sunday morning in those 40s. 45 degrees today, plenty of sunshine. Tomorrow we're waking up around freezing. Clouds slowly increase as well as your temperature 62. 72 Saturday will be incredibly windy continuing throughout our Sunday as well. We'll see a break in the way of precipitation. Another chance of rain is back Monday afternoon. A high of 60 still staying above the average highs with those 50s and 60s all the way into mid next week. Kristen.